What's up everybody? So today we're not actually going to be working on anything. Uh, instead I want to show you something that's really been making a huge difference in my shop. For a while now I've been avoiding buying three-phase equipment and I've found stuff like lathes and mills and bandsaws that were all pretty reasonably priced but I figured it would cost a fortune to either convert my shop over or I'd need like a big rotary phase converter or something and I couldn't have been more wrong. It's actually really easy and it can be done for, you know, a few hundred bucks or even less. This is a VFD or a variable frequency drive. And you may be wondering how these work. It just does. It just does. So through a series of rectifiers, inductors, and capacitors, this box works its magic. And it allows you to plug into your 220 volt single phase that you probably already have in your garage and power something like this South Bend lathe, which is 223 phase. Let's take a look at what equipment you'll need to buy. The first thing you'll have to do is select your VFD. These ones from KB Electronics work great. They're sealed from dust and have a great reputation. There are cheaper options available though, so don't let the price scare you. Some can be had for just a little over a hundred bucks. Just be sure to read the reviews and do your homework first. There's different sizes that are available based off the different amperage requirement that you have. I just checked the tag on my motor and selected a VFD to match. This is a one horsepower motor that requires 3.4 amps. So this KBAC 24D fit the bill perfect. Next you'll need some wire. For the single phase side you'll need some 14 gauge, two wire plus a ground and you'll wire up this plug. The other end gets hooked up to the appropriate connections inside your VFD. You'll also need some 14 gauge, three wire plus a ground for the three phase side. Fortunately though a lot of the equipment you buy is already going to come wired. All you need to do is remove your plug and hook up these wires to the appropriate connections inside your VFD. In my case, I had to swap around the black and red wires because my motor was running backwards. So just keep that in mind in case you're having a similar problem. Speaking of running backwards, you can even add a switch to be able to change the direction. This would be great on a belt grinder or a lathe if you don't have a directional control switch like I do. Not only will this allow you to run three phase equipment in your workshop, it will also give you speed control. This is huge for something like a lathe or a bandsaw. Imagine being able to change the speed of your drill press without moving the belts around. Once I get a VFD set up on my bandsaw, with just the change of a blade and the turn of a dial, I'll be able to go from cutting wood to cutting steel. I know people like to throw around the term game changer, but there's really no better way that I can describe one of these. For like a year now, my buddy Bryce has been telling me about these things, and I figured there was no way it was this easy. But in reality, they're easier than he even made it sound. I'll put some links in the description to some of his videos as well as some of Brian House's, which will go a little more in depth on the wiring. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button, shared it with your friends, and left a comment down below. Thanks to everybody that stuck around to the end. It really helps the video out. Until next time, here's a few more videos that YouTube thinks you might like.